Everyone has to start somewhere. From Kelly Clarkson on American Idol or Jennifer Aniston working on off-Broadway productions, every star starts in a not-so-glamorous place. In this day and age, there are many ways to generate fame. One of these ways is SoundCloud. Musicians have found SoundCloud to be a great way to create a brand for themselves and to start generating a fan base. Some rappers get their start from competitions, but a large majority has gathered fame from SoundCloud. The first rapper that has generated a large amount of fame from SoundCloud and has moved on to bigger platforms is Young Gravy. Born Matthew Raymond Hari in Rochester, Minnesota, Gravy started making music in 2016 while he was attending the University of Wisconsin pursuing a marketing degree. After his first song, Mr. Clean, which samples the chord at Sandman, went big, Young Gravy quickly skyrocketed in popularity. From this popularity, he was able to sign with Republic Records, and from this deal, Gravy proceeded to go on two North American tours, release four EPs, one mixtape, and two albums. With the increase in fame, he also was rewarded with two RIAA certified gold songs. Throughout all of this fame, Gravy was still able to earn his degree in marketing. As his popularity continues to grow, it is easy to see that a large majority of his growth comes from his start on SoundCloud. The second ramp rapper that got their start on SoundCloud is Travis Scott. The Houston, Texas native has released three studio albums, three mixtapes, four EPs, and 39 singles, while reaching an almost unheard of level of fame. Starting on SoundCloud, Scott, whose real name is Jacques Berman Webster II, found himself signing a record deal with Epic Records in 2012, and after this deal was signed, he would proceed to sign with two other record labels before starting his own label, Cactus Jack. After his skyrocket to fame, Scott has received seven Grammy nominations, one Billboard Music Award, and 11 nominations, one BET Hip Hop Award, and eight nominations, and one Teen Choice Award. Along with the success he has found at award shows, Travis Scott has produced and headlined three tours, released a collaboration with Nike, and managed to start a family with Kylie Jenner and their daughter, Stormy. The worldwide phenom has even created an amusement park and fe festival, Astroworld. Travis Scott is a great example of how big someone can get just off of SoundCloud. Finally, the controversial rapper XXXTentacion, who released his first song in 2013 on SoundCloud, was one of the biggest artists to begin on the streaming app. Jesse Onfroy, who then became known as XXXTentacion, gained an almost cult following when his song Look At Me blew up and peaked at number 34 on the Billboard Hot 100 and was named to XXL's 2017 freshman class. Throughout his career, X would, f would find himself in loads of legal issues, which, were overshadow which would overshadow the music career that he was slowly generating. Releasing four albums, two of which were, which were posthumous, X would find success in many different forms. Winning one AMA and one BET Hip Hop Award, Onfire was reaching a level of fame that many were unsure that he would be able to handle. However, before he was able to fully embrace and run with the fame he was gathering, XXXTentacion would be shot and killed at the age of 20. His death brought on a large amount of controversy and conspiracy as many believed he was faking his own death as a publicity stunt. The fame that XXXTentacion generated from SoundCloud can be attributed to his music, but also to the constant legal issues and controversy that he was generating as well. As these three rappers show, SoundCloud has become a place for many to start their search and pursuit of fame. The pursuit of fame starts earlier and earlier as years go by, and currently high school students are starting to throw their figurative hat in the ring. One of these high school students, Jed Downham, also known as the OG Jedly, has begun his pursuit of a rap career recently, so I sat down with him to discuss his rap career and aspirations. What's your name? What do you do? Uh, my name is Jed Downham, a.k.a. the OG Judley, and I play baseball and I make music. Uh, I have a bunch of friends that make music. Uh, shout out to Navy, LB, Def Sonoma, and King Kid. Uh, they've all been making music. Uh, Navy and Def have been making music since like seventh grade, and then uh, LB and King Kid kind of caught on when they were in high school, so they kind of brought me into their uh, music group. Uh, yeah, we do uh, mostly like melodic type stuff, like a lot of like singing kind of like we're not like singers like we still rap but like it's kind of like a Roddy Rich vibe if yeah. you know what I'm saying um who's the biggest artist you like wish like one day you could collab with uh probably Drake I've been a Drake fan like ever since I started listening to rap like back in seventh grade like he's kind of the person that brought me into the rap culture um but yeah, either Drake or Roddy Rich. I just love Roddy's voice Rapping your number one goal in life, or do you have other aspirations for rapping? Just like a side career. Rapping, yeah, it's kind of like a side career. Uh, I wanna, uh, I wanna play professional baseball, but like, if that doesn't really work out, then I can kind of work on the rapping stuff. But uh, probably like a second side job. Uh, if 
if you continue rapping, how long do you think you're gonna keep making music? Uh, if I if like me and my if me and my friends like blow up, I'll probably do it like as a lifestyle. So probably like till I retire, I guess. But I mean, I guess you can like make music your whole life because I mean, Kanye West is still making music. So, I mean, you can really do it your whole life. It's not like it to stop. Do you see yourself creating any other type of music or are you just gonna stick with the rap game? Uh, I'll probably, myself, I'll probably, I'll probably stick with like what I've been doing, like the melodic stuff. But like, um, my boy LB, he does like rock music. He can make like love songs like a bunch of different stuff he's he can make a bunch of different stuff so but i'd probably just stick with the more like melodic type stuff that i do now you said uh, drake was your favorite rapper but it, like is he like top to you like if whenever he drops something you listen or is there any other rappers that like uh him and then nba young boy he's he blew up a while like probably a couple years ago but i like him a lot and uh roddy rich i got a bunch of artists that i listen to that i like uh like to listen to a lot, so. What do you find helps people yeah. get big on the SoundCloud? Definitely a lot of, like, dropping a lot of singles. Like, the one person that comes to mind, uh, actually two people, uh, Six Nine and Young Boy. Those, those two, those two guys before Six Nine got locked up, they would drop singles and they would drop music videos to those singles, and then they do that like for five songs, and then they drop a whole project, like a whole album. So like, just music production and like making a bunch of different songs, making music videos for the songs. Like Navy does a good job with that. He makes a lot of songs, and then he'll drop singles, and then he makes music videos for those singles, and then just back in January, he dropped Dreamin' Blue, his uh, debut album, and uh, that's been running up the numbers. So just like making a lot of songs and making a lot of music videos for those songs. Now you committed to play at Adrian. Anderson, Anderson. yeah. Ideas there. What's, what's going through your head? Like um, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna study biology, and I'm hoping to be a big, big role in the baseball team when I first step on campus. And then uh, maybe going forward, I could potentially get drafted and play in the pros. But that's the dream.